another shot and there you go, it pauses it, that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to check if, I'm pretty sure it won't keep going anymore, but we're going to check. So I'm going to leave my comment here, I could be wrong, of course, and of ammo or gun shooting. Breakpoint and see as you can see that we take a shot. So we didn't check these ones because it, it doesn't really matter because when usually when there's a return there's gonna be the end of it. So the return will go back to a certain sp specific point in memory and um, you know it will just leave that function. So this has nothing to do with it. Um, so it's saying for example Boolean um, did ammo sh did gunfire properly, something like that. It doesn't really matter anyway. So we've removed the breakpoint, and this is the end of gun shooting. Now we know that we need to find our addresses between here and here. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go through every single address and try and find, hopefully, the one we're looking for. So that may include uh, the guns becoming automatic and so on. So we found a decrement arrow. So we can simply just uh, oops. Um, we can simply just reverse it. Now, sometimes uh, I found out, uh, I think it was yesterday on Modern Warfare 3, that um, the decrement ammo they've got is um, a subtract. So sometimes it'll be a decrement, sometimes a sub, and you should also expect it to be a um, a move. Now, move basically means copy. I don't know why they call it move, but from what I've read, move is basically copy. So you're copying data from one place to the other, be it from like here f to here, for example. It doesn't really matter. Or is it from here to here, like I said, it doesn't matter. It's not what we care about. All we want to do is know our functions. And uh, if you don't know what noping is, it's basically um, saying when you get to this instruction, because each of these is uh, an instruction on the CPU. And when the CPU gets here, it'll, if it's got a no op, um, it will it'll just so it'll come here and it'll see a no op here. It'll go to it and it'll see it and then it'll skip to the next one. So that's all it means. So if we did a no op in our decrement ammo for example it would simply not change the ammo so I'm going to do a quick copy of this and then I'm going to right click make sure you copy that text there binary fill knobs as you can see as I shoot the ammo doesn't even go up, the ammo doesn't go up or down it just doesn't move it skips the uh, decrementing of the ammo so I'm going to double click on the top one and paste this back All right, and that divides into uh, multiple things because it's um, in this example is two bytes if it's one of the other ones uh, it's a lot more bytes but you don't have to worry about that yet so what we're going to do now is going to start at the top and this is just a little guideline I did for it um, <coughs> let me just make sure yeah so um, yeah so this is an order of which things should be modified um, it's, it's not, I haven't got this from anywhere, this is from my own experience and that's my opinion obviously so feel free to check it somewhere else if you if you think I'm wrong with something. Um, so what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to go through all the jumps and we're going to reverse them, alright? Um, and once we reverse them, um, excuse me, we're going to find out um, what happens after that. So there might be a crash, there might be something like that. Okay guys, so quick break to um, to make sure the uh, fraps was doing what it should be doing and uh, <coughs> just to make sure I could get some more notes on this I'd forgotten. So um, let's just run Ollie again, attach that and uh, hopefully you'll be exactly where you are. So assault Q, BC client. Just press play. Ctrl G and look for what you want. So um, a quick note that I made here. So I recommend you do something similar to this, just to know that you gotta ignore these because we're gonna start searching in a second. All these we have to ignore. So uh, to make sure we don't make mistakes and actually check to see what they do, it doesn't really matter. So the first step is to check if um, to reverse all whole thingy commands. So what I did here is I've I've listed down what reverses the command. So if you find J. You reverse the JL if you find JL, you and this is all found online. So if you don't know what they mean, so for example, J is J if um, it's equal to J and E if it's not equal to, um, and that's pretty much it. And J and E is pretty much the same if I think it's the same as J and Z. I mean, I'm not sure, we'll find out in a second. Um, actually, let's change this to a Z there because that's usually what I use. I don't know why I had that. I think that's from when I started doing this. Um, so we're going to start here looking through all the jumps. So let's go. Um, 
Uh, so basically it starts here, this is the code where it checks if the ammo is available and then we'll go down well, let's check all the jumps. So uh, so as you can see one of the jumps is here, so we write the word here um, so we know where we are in case we crash and we change that to a knee symbol. So we take a shot and it, if you try it and you, you're you using a uh, semi-automatic weapon like I am you'll know that by holding the mouse you are now shooting uh, automatic rounds so basically that is the function that checks if a weapon is uh, semi-automatic or automatic so what we got we can do here so um, this was lucky for a first find because we usually don't find them that quick but f um, checks if gun is auto um, so if we want to make everything so by doing that we made the assault rifle I'll I'll quick sh quickly show you. So let's just put that on, and I'm going to kill myself quickly by putting that on. Let's see if I can find a grenade. Come on, there it is. So I'm going to kill myself. Did I kill myself? Oh, I guess glitches like hell. Come on, bloody fraps. Really slow. Um, there it is. All right. So. Um, as you can see now, the assault rifle became automatic, and I need to press every time I want to shoot. Now, if I want to make everything automatic, I I change that into a JMP MP means jump regardless of what happens, just jump. So uh, jump to make everything auto. Okay, so I've put that note there and stuff. So I'm going to return it back to normal because I don't really care about it now. Um, and now we're going to look for the next jump, so jump, jump, jump. Uh, <laughs> look for another jump. I might miss some of these things out as I'm doing through it, but it happens. So uh, there's no more jump that I can see. And if there is, we'll find them later. <coughs> there's one hit. No, no, never mind. So there doesn't seem to be any more jumps, and that's a good thing. So we've checked all jumps and we've reversed them, and now we're going to look for the calls. <coughs> so these are calls that should be, uh, for example, call followed by number, not like call EAX, as there I it is. Like things like this, we don't want. We want call followed by the number. I'll show you in a second when we find it. So let's just look for that call. Um, this can get a bit boring, but that's just how it is. So this is what we're looking for. So let's leave a quick note here, saying here. In case it crashes when we nope it, so we're gonna go binary, fill nopes, go back in the game, try and shoot. If it doesn't crash, then that's usually a good thing, and it means that even though you might not have found something, you blocked an instruction out. So ignore that. So it works just fine. Also, something you probably should do. Let's get some ammo quickly um, to make sure this doesn't take too long. Uh, so decrement ammo. Change this into a. I'm gonna nope it. So you can either nope it or um, or change the deck into an ink. So this way our armor doesn't decrease so we can test quite well. Um, so we've done that, let's look for any other calls. So there's another call but that's not the ones we're looking for, there's another one. Let's look for here. Actually, um, no effect on no. So make sure you've got that. So, um, right, comment, uh, copy that out. Um, so I'll put here in case I crash. Uh, and I'm going to nope it. Binary fill nopes. Yep, that's fine. So as you can see, I'm taking a shot. Nothing is actually happening. So I'm just checking other guns. Nothing is actually happening, which means probably block something graphical or whatever. So we're going to copy and paste this. No effect on nope. That's fine. Let's just keep looking until we find what we want. So that's end of gun shooting. Um, just going to have a quick check to make sure that is the end of it. Binary um, breakpoint. Because I'm not sure. I was Ah, oh, damn it. I remember this being a bit bigger, so it does continue a bit longer. So I guess it's always best to check a few more things down. So, uh, remove hardware breakpoint. I'm, I'm just wondering where this jumped off to. It doesn't use these. Um, uh, let's try going all the way to here. Breakpoint, so, I mean, yeah, that also has something to do with it. Oh, my freaking god. Uh, breakpoint binary, not binary, breakpoint, remove hardware breakpoint. So this can get really boring and, you know, slow. So let's just go breakpoint. Um, let's put a breakpoint here. Hardware on breakpoint. 
and as you can see here this break rate seems to happen regardless of whether you shoot or not which means that probably it doesn't have anything to do with the function uh, to shoot so let's go up a few more till we find it so breakpoint hardware execution and that also does the same thing so breakpoint move hardware breakpoint play um, breakpoint um, let's try this one ding so that's something to do with it so it's fair to say that the thingy ends here I mean these don't really matter anyway so let's just say it ends here let's check to make sure it is yeah that's this is where it ends end of gun shooting so yes we missed a few functions out a few instructions out it doesn't really matter we'll use we'll get back to them in a second breakpoint and hardware breakpoint and that's fine so I was wrong about this and that sometimes will happen so um So what we're gonna do now is <clears throat> just gonna look for any um, any um, jumps here quickly, and then we'll check for any calls as well. So here's a jump. Let's just just do here. <coughs> that becomes the JNZ and assemble that. Press play. Oops. Press play. What? Oh, why the hell is it doing that? Where's the breakpoint? I'm an idiot. Put breakpoint. I forgot to remove it. As you can see, uh, I put a thingy there, jump doesn't do anything by the looks of it. So we reverse it. No effect. Uh, so just put it back to normal. And sometimes you will have n to nope jumps, but it's usually a very bad idea to do that. Just reversing is usually the key. So I uh, found that. I found that. Let's just do one of these calls here. Because we are at the calls at the moment. Uh, so let's fill this with nobs and that's fine so far okay nothing actually happens and uh, nothing new is happening I don't think no so um, no effect on nope yeah that's fine uh, let's go down let's go down end of gun shooting is here we've got one one more call here and another one up there so let's nope it And that's fine. Still not found what we want uh, because we are kind of looking for recoil. What the hell did I do there? We just modify this one. No effect. On no. Do, 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 do. And that's good so far. So we're going to check this one quickly. Gonna go here. Call a nope here. And eventually, when you do these many, you're likely to have a crash. But it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you keep leaving the comments because. They, those would be quite useful. So we've got another jump here, which we've done. Um, end of gun shooting. So we've got another call here. Let's check what that call does. And a lot of the times it won't do anything, but you need to check them anyway to make sure, because uh, that could be any of them could be a recoil or your, well, anything like that. Oops, I almost put it in the wrong one. That would have been a crash. So no effect on nope. Uh, move. And the good thing about having loads of nopes about is that. Um, you know what works and what doesn't so that's fine let's go up hopefully there won't be anything else down here I don't think there will be but um, uh, go up compare jump that's fine so we've gone through all the jumps I believe um, and if we haven't we'll find any missing along the way so so if we still haven't found the instruction we're looking for we're going to look for the third now the third is to find instructions like this one move byte or move D word or anything like that. It's usually pointer as well. Not something like this. Move E A X. You don't want to do this until the end. That's when you've run out of things. Then you nope these ones, and you have to nope in, in groups. But I'll explain that to you when we get to it. Um, check if gun is automatic. Uh, jump. Make everything out. So we, what we then do uh, is we look for these. So move byte is one. Uh, and then what we're going to do is going to call a nope on it now. Here, move by point at you. So as you can see, EX gets used here as well. As you can see, usually when an address is used in multiple places, it means that if you nope it here and you don't nope it here, you're going to get crashed. So go uh, right click and do both of them. Fill in nopes. Now you could still get crashed this way. It doesn't matter. Yeah, here we go. Here's our first crash. Mother effer. So we know where we were. So let's. Doesn't matter what you do. It just appears as pause and, and it will crash and you can't do anything. So. We're just going to keep going.